Hello, hello. It is hard to believe it's been a while since I've done an IG story live, but I am going to be joined by a good friend who actually, his name is Jeremy, and he actually, hey, uh, he actually uh, works with a product called Nimble. And so Nimble is this incredible percussion device that you can use on your sore muscles. And so I'm waiting for him to join. Hey, how are you? Hi, Cynthia. Great. How are you today? Good. I'm doing well. I was just kind of explaining to everyone that we were going to have this chat today about Nimble and what it does and how my entire family is really enjoying using it. Um, but I, I, I can't give it the justice that you can. So we'd love for you to share a little bit about what Nimble is, how it benefits people, how it makes them feel a whole lot better, especially with sore muscles. I have athletes in my house. Um, I have a competitive swimmer and a football player, and my husband does jujitsu and Krav Maga and a whole bunch of other crazy things. So we've all been enjoying it. Well, yeah, thank you for that, and and you know, thank you first of all for having us on today. I think, you know, I think so. Nimble the Accelerate is a percussion tool, and essentially what it does is really for this conversation, I think three things that are very important. One, first and foremost, for all of us today is stress right and mm -hmm. both from a weight loss standpoint from a performance standpoint you mentioned your your kids who are athletes your husband does Krav Maga which for those of you out there if you don't know what Krav Maga is it's probably the greatest hand-to-hand <laughs> -hand combat there is in, in the world mm -hmm. um, you know so so I think from a stress standpoint there's really there's three areas that percussion allows the body to really perform at its greatest stress certainly which we'll talk about in a minute activating muscle and then thirdly is recovery and you know recovery probably has more eyes on it today than anything else they're doing more research on recovery than they are doing on how to run faster or how to perform better mm -hmm. but first i want to i want to talk quick about stress and and how percussion there's some science that suggests that percussion minimizes the development of cortisol which is a hormone that for simple reasons uh, blocks our ability to burn fat right or it or it allows for greater fat to be withheld mm -hmm. in in our body so so I think in today's world where you know especially as it gets a little bit crazier and we're home more we're not out and about as much I think it's really important that that percussion can allow the body to feel better just by using it in different areas of the body and and I think that drops some cortisol production it also allows for less stress in your body and less stress with activity burns more fat so I think that's really a, a tremendous opportunity the second is muscle activity so you know where we're homebound and certainly we're everybody's on their computers more than normal today mm -hmm. Percussion activates the muscle. So as I turn it on here, you can see that it's moving back and forth. And in the back, it gives me different speeds. Well, the different speeds are what either activates the muscle or relaxes the muscle. So in order to activate, I'm going to stay on low speed. And I'm simply just going to percuss through areas that I want to turn on that muscle. So when I get up in the morning, it's just, uh, or at the in the middle of the day, I'm getting ready to go to the gym, or I'm just going to do my activity. Using percussion to warm up the muscle, to activate the muscle, is much faster and creates this brain muscle communication. Mm -hmm. I call it Wi-Fi. Everybody, right now, we're all on Wi-Fi, so it's really yeah. slow. But this turns on the 5G of your brain. So it allows the brain to communicate with all of that muscle, all of that tissue, and burn fat to a higher degree mm -hmm. because you have more muscle activated and you're using mm -hmm. more muscle. Thirdly, and probably what's most known about percussion is recovery. And as you said, with your athletes and your active lifestyle, everybody uses it. So we simply use percussion after our workouts after our activity at the end of a stressful long day and again i'm just going to go a little faster speeds and i can percuss anywhere i feel stress for the for the women typically we feel it more in our necks for the men for our for us men it's more in our midsection or our bellies 
So anywhere that you feel stress, any muscle that feels fatigued or sore, I'm simply going to percuss that area. Real short time, it doesn't need to take long, it doesn't hurt. So a lot of people would relate these to or equate these to foam rollers. Foam rollers can be a little bit sensitive and a little bit painful, but not percussion. So really, Cynthia, I think those three areas are sort of the key areas in where we are in our world today. Well, and I, I think that's really helpful to share with everyone. And, and there's so many key points that I kind of want to delve into. But like I've used a foam roller and certainly I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a fan of foam roller. But when you have that degree of inflammation, like putting all that pressure, all the pressure of your body on a foam roller, it hurts. And it hurts because it's inflamed. The fascia, which is the uh, covering over the muscle, is inflamed. And that's what is creating that discomfort. I mean, what's different with the nimble is that I never felt that same degree of discomfort. And you think about you're getting more blood flow to the area. So you're going to speed healing, which is really, really key. I want to touch on cortisol because that's something I talk about all the time. So cortisol is part of that fight or flight response. And I remind people all the time that cortisol is not bad, but in our like over harried, over stressed existences, too much cortisol is never a good thing. And that can be catabolic. So it can like break down muscle. We don't want our muscle to be breaking down. And, and so Really, anything that's going to quiet the stress response, I always talk about that reptile brain. Um, we really want to ensure that we are, you know, kind of decompressing and de-stressing our bodies. And as you mentioned, uh, when cortisol's up uh, and we have an acute stress response, we're, we're, we're fat storing. We're not fat burning. So really key that that can be part of um, part of a recovery kind of mindset. So anyone that's watching, let me know if you have any questions. I um, wanted to bring Jeremy on because I, I was really uh, incredibly impressed uh, when I started using the product and I could get my 13-year-old, my 15-year-old using it. And it's simple to use. Like they just took it out of the box. They didn't require any instruction. Um, they actually keep it in the hallway now and they trade mm -hmm. it back and forth between their bedrooms. <laughs> Um, so super easy to use. And obviously, um, I'm all about, you know, being able to support small businesses, you know, especially with COVID. I think that um, I would much rather support a small business than, you know, some of these big box stores that, you know, aren't really taking as much of a brunt from the economic impact of COVID mm -hmm. and, and not being able to, you know, kind of get back to our more active lifestyles. So if anyone has any questions, let us know. But you know, kind of tell me how you got involved in this whole process. I think that story is actually really interesting mm -hmm. and people that are watching might enjoy, like, how did this actually come about for um, Nimble to come to fruition? Yeah. So, you know, I've had a very blessed career. I've, I've been to over 50 countries working with fitness professionals and, and athletes and a colleague of mine, a, a longtime colleague, good, good friend of mine. Um, we were in New York City having breakfast one morning, he had just come back from a physical therapy session. And his post physical therapy instructions were like two pages of stick figures, showing him what he's supposed to do to now take care of his, his aches and pains, right his mm -hmm. dysfunction in his body. And so we were having this conversation, both having been in, in sort of the fitness and wellness space for, you know, 25, 30 years, we we're having this conversation, what can we do with with the colleagues and the resources and, and the people that we know, what can we do to, to begin to cause change or, or affect or provide an opportunity for people at home to self-care using a very simple tool? And um, so we both ha have access to, to manufacturers, you know, abroad. Uh, one of the manufacturers, I had done a lot of, uh, a lot of education for vibration Mm -hmm. And, you know, percussion is not new, per se. Mm -hmm. the, the physical therapy world has been utilizing it for a long, 20 years maybe. Mm -hmm. But percussion and how to use percussion for us at home, for the, for the lay person, for the, you know, who, who is, does not, is not a science geek and, and read all, all the research and, and what to do, we wanted to offer a very simple opportunity. Mm -hmm. So... We bought, my, uh, the joke is my wife hates percussion because over six months we had 25 plus new percussion guns come to our home, right? We broke them up. I had all my athletes utilize them, drop them on the floor, play with them, the user interface, the whole system. And we came up and, and we ultimately, we built the Nimble Accelerate. 
Yeah. So I think the idea, you know, our platform, we offer free three to five minute short form videos mm -hmm. that show you exactly what to do if your shoulder hurts or if you roll your ankle or if you hurt your knee or if you just want to be activated in the morning, right? Start that day with energy, good mineral water, get some sunlight, good breath and vibration. And now you start that day for energy. So it really was sort of a 30 year overnight. Hey, let's go. That's how nimble was created. I love that though. And I love that you kind of talked about, you know, some things <clears throat> that I think are really important that we forget about, you know, getting, you know, exercise, getting sunshine, getting fresh air. I mean, all these things that we kind of have forgotten about mm -hmm. and we don't have to make things quite so complicated. I, I think as people are kind of pivoting and shifting during COVID, uh, we're definitely looking for things that we can do at home because we don't, we might not be able to get to the physical therapist's office. And I know, you know, for myself that there's nothing worse than having a sore muscle because what's the natural inclination? We're sore, mm -hmm. so then we become less active. And that actually exacerbates the inflammation, potentially, you know, the injury or the, like the micro tears that you're dealing with that are uncomfortable. And so I think it's really nice to know that you can have something in your own disposal. You can have at your house. It's easy to use. Um, are you using, you and your wife, are you and your family using this every day? Yeah, so uh, so that like you, there are arguments, right? Because as I said, we have many here, but this <laughs> one is the one that gets used that everybody yeah. wants. Um, so yeah, so it's a, it's a daily practice. And, and really it's, you know, as I mentioned earlier, really it's about three areas. Pre or just getting my body prepared. And then inside of our work, if I'm here in my home studio, well, which most of us are today, mm -hmm. I can utilize it to work areas that potentially are more sore in that moment from, from another day of exercise. And then post, so after my activity, to, to recover and to soften. So everybody knows that, or, or if you don't, it, when you work out, typically it's 48 hours. It's called mm -hmm. DOMS, Delayed Onset Muscle Soreness, with, which of course you know, Cynthia. Mm -hmm. So it's typically not the next day, but it's the following day that we're really sore. So mm -hmm. what we know and what research has provided is that if you utilize percussion post-exercise, you're minimizing that delayed onset muscle mm -hmm. soreness significantly. And I loved your point about if you're sore, you're probably going to take another day off, mm -hmm. right? Which another day off becomes another day off becomes another day off. Now you're a week into it and you've not done th those sorts of things that you know, allow us to, to relieve stress, to, to feel better about ourselves. Mm -hmm. And that's really what percussion provides. Now, do you know much about, because I, the other modality that I'm hearing a lot about now is vibrational therapy. So, you know, these vibration plates that people stand on. One of the questions that I got in the stream was, how is this different? Obviously, you can't use the vibration plate on your shoulders, but people will stand on a vibration mm -hmm. plate can you talk about how that differentiates, how that's different so that they can appreciate um, how unique this is? Yeah. So, you know, the, the truth is percussion really came from vibration. Mm -hmm. And and I was very blessed um, early in my career uh, with some of the smartest researchers on vibration mm -hmm. and vibration platforms uh, from a performance standpoint. Mm -hmm. So it's really, it's dear to my heart, vibration training. And I know you're a big fan as well. Yeah. Um, the biggest distinction of vibration platforms, I'm going to use, I'm going to go apples to apples. So vibration yeah. platforms to percussion, the platform, when you stand on a platform, it's the whole system that potentially can be affected. Right? Mm -hmm. So the contraindications are broad reaching. Mm -hmm. So it really eliminates not a lot of folks, but, but enough that it doesn't make sense for all of us to, to have one in our home. Mm hmm the benefit or the tissue, the neural, the tissue response is very, very similar. And mm -hmm. why that is, is because vibration platforms, they move at a certain rate of speed mm -hmm. and they move at a certain distance. So with percussion, as we turn it on and you can see that, so that would be 20 Hertz or 20 times a second. So that's my rate of speed. Then my distance is 13 millimeters of travel there so you can see mm -hmm. how that moves right so vibration platforms are four two to four millimeters of platform uh, of movement so okay. it's very small yeah 
So what percussion does is it allows us to take the benefits of vibration and add that acutely to different muscle tissue because we can't lay down on a vibration platform and, and get our shoulder or get the connective tissue of our scapula into our chest. So that's really the biggest distinction. A lot of the same benefits with very minimal contraindications and the, the ability to turn the brain on to a higher degree to activate mm -hmm. more tissue. Cynthia, you said something earlier about, um, about the, 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 the brain response to yeah. that fight or flight. There was a research study done and they, they used vibration. So they turned vibration on and then they had the, the research or, or the, the uh, people in the research study touch a hot plate. The brain controlled that vibration before it told them to take their finger off the hot plate. That's how powerful percussion is for our bodies. Our brain automatically turns that muscle and that tissue on. You know, it's interesting. One of my children um, fell and broke his, both his arms uh, coming back from a swim event two years ago, had to have reconstructive surgery. And ever since then, he's had a deformity in one of his arms. And it's, you know, the orthopedic surgeon, they looked at it, the bones are fine, the repair is fine. It was, I was told it was a muscular in injury. And what's interesting is that when you manipulate a muscle in his back, it actually will, the uh, deformity actually goes away. So, when you're talking about like, it's, it's like when that injury occurred, the uh, neuro connection to that muscle was severed or was damaged. And so actually using vibrational therapy um, can actually, you know, can actually help the brain regenerate um, neurologically uh, information and information and sensory information that goes to that muscle. And so that was like a big takeaway mm -hmm. for me. I, I hadn't thought about it in the sense that you know, sometimes when there's an injury or there's um, an accident or there's damage that the brain probably in response to the trauma it went through will kind of create a, a disconnect. It's almost like it doesn't want to remember what that was like when the injury occurred. So it just disconnects. And so when that uh, neurosynapse is kind of reconnected, all of a sudden his deformity is gone in his arm, honest to God. So it's pretty amazing. And I just kind of mentioned that because it made me realize um, that this muscular disconnection was what was contributing to this deformity that we were mm -hmm. seeing in this muscle in his arm, which is now better. So for anyone that's watching, and I, and I know there have been people jumping in and off, um, if they're interested in hearing more about Nimble, obviously we will be sharing content on social media, but how can they connect with you? How can they learn more about Nimble? Obviously, we've been really happy with this product in our house, and we're a pretty active family, but I know there are plenty of people who are listening who maybe don't have the ability, you know, with social distancing and things that are starting to happen on the East Coast again, you know, case rates are going up, people may not be able to either get to the gym or their physical trainer or get a massage, you know, how can they find out about Nimble? How can they get one for themselves and learn more? Yeah, so, you know, really, when we talk about learning more, that's really important. And, mm -hmm. and that's really what we're about. So, you know, whether you have a percussion tool or you want a percussion tool, obviously we would love for you to come to us if you do not have one. And you can go to www.joinnimble.com. And Nimble is N-I-M-B-L. There's no E. So joinnimble.com. And even if you have another percussion tool, as I said earlier, our goal is to provide solutions and to provide opportunities to feel better and move better, to have more energy and to experience less stress in our lives. So if you have something else, still come. The content is free. You can look at how to use it maybe a different way than you've been using it to this point. But if you want to get your own Nimble Accelerate, it's joinnimble.com. And I think the one thing to remember, like I tend not to um, do a lot of collaborations as a, as a, as a brand, mm -hmm. but uh, this is definitely one that I feel really comfortable aligning with. These are people who are really interested in educating their consumers. Um, they're not just pushing a product and, and, you know, I, I think when you come from a place of education mm -hmm. and not from a salesy kind of mindset and mentality, which is very aligned with the way that I am. Um, just being of service to others is always a great platform to stand on. So if anyone has any questions, um, please go ahead and drop them in the chat function. We're happy to answer them while we have you on 
the um, the IG live, and if not, we can certainly hook you guys up after the fact. Did you have anything else that you wanted to add? Anything that you think would be helpful for people that are watching that are considering, you know, learning more or uh, want to learn more about Nimble specifically? Well, I, I just think you know percussion in general. Um, I think a lot of people have the the misconception, like like in a lot of areas of fitness, that you know, oh, percussion it's for the athletes, and and mm -hmm. and some of the other percussion companies really tout their famous athletes and their famous affiliations. And and really what I want people to know is it's really for everybody else, right? Because athletes, they have people who take care of them. Mm -hmm. This is really for the rest of us who don't have a physical therapist, who don't have, have a massage on therapist call. on <laughs> staff, right? Yeah. I mean, so really that's what percussion is for. And, and don't be shy about reaching out, you know, for your community, please re reach out to Cynthia uh, she's obviously has a world and a wealth of knowledge that can be shared. And certainly we, you have full access to us, any questions, again, whether it's some, somebody else's tool or the accelerate, really what we want to do is, is just allow an opportunity for people to get educated on how to use percussion to feel better. So. No, thank you so much for all that you do. I, I've certainly learned a ton and, you know, percussion back when I was learning as a nurse practitioner was what we did down the back of someone's, you know, down their lungs or across their abdomen. And so percussion, yes, exactly. <laughs> you know, we would literally do this right, um, right. down their abdomen or down their, their back or their front. And so um, percussion was just a technique that we used for physical examination. So I'm glad to see things have taken, have kind of ramped up a notch, but what we'll plan on doing is we'll, we'll drop your contact information. If anyone has any questions, um, we are planning on making Nimble part of our holiday gift guide. So if you follow me on social media or on my email list, you will absolutely be um, in for a treat because we'll pass along a special code if you would like to purchase Nimble or have any additional questions. Yeah, and, and, and for your, you know, for, for your community, use that code because, you know, few, few people get it and, and we're very grateful uh, to align ourselves with Cynthia and her message. Um, so please look for that and, and use it as, you know, it, this is a relationship and a partnership that we're very grateful for. Awesome. Well, have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks for carving time out of your busy schedule to connect. And I will make sure that we'll send you a copy of the holiday gift guide. We're really excited. We were just talking about it today. We do one every year and really try to support other small businesses. Oh, that's great. Uh, yeah, and we, we'll push it out as well. So thank you. And thanks to your community. Uh, please let us know how we can assist. Absolutely. Have a great day, everyone. All right, Cynthia. Cheers. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Cheers. Bye-bye.